In this video tutorial, we are going to model a volleyball with polygons. Let's start our lesson. Open up a new file and create a polygon primitive cube with default settings. For default settings, click edit and reset settings, then create. Now go to the mesh menu and to the smooth options. Again reset its settings, then change division level to 3. Now go to the front view, maximize the front view. fill shade to the object right click and select face select front faces in a sequence this way you can even use the paint selection tool for the selection and drag a selection like you are painting on the object in this way go to the perspective view leave the paint selection tool by choosing the pick tool now you are going to duplicate these faces go to the edit mesh and then duplicate face options and reset the settings hit duplicate you have duplicated some of the faces from front side now delete the rest of the ball this is the object which will be a volleyball within few minutes now you will insert two edge loops to the middle get the tool insert edge loop tool and insert an edge right here near the second middle edge loop and right here near the second middle edge loop now we are going to duplicate faces again go to front view leave the tool by choosing the pick tool right click on the object select face select upper three rows of faces then go to perspective view and duplicate these faces like this again go to the front view select middle piece of faces duplicate the faces once again we'll duplicate the third bottom part of the object right click on the object get faces and select three rows of lower portion and duplicate them now we have three duplicates of three portions we can see the single portion select it and hit delete now we have only three parts of the object this time at this stage we need to make seams stitches between three of the parts first of all hide two parts of lower side go to the display menu 
and height selection now we have one piece so make a seam a stitch for the one piece this time we need to select the border edge loop of this piece go to the select menu and select border edge tool double click one of the edge and you have selected border edge loop now we'll extrude this border edge loop go to the edit mesh choose extrude and reset the options of extrude to click extrude now we have local axis coordinates on local axis coordinates z axis should be moved move a little bit and then open up the channel box see the local translate z and put the value minus 0.03 here and you have done one piece show the rest of the pieces go to the display menu and show last hidden now we have three pieces repeat the same action which we have done for the top piece of the object click on the middle piece go to the select edge border loop tool select the border loop and then again extrude it and change the value from channel box in local translate z this way likewise repeat the same action for third piece select border edge loop to double click one of the edges and go to the edit mesh extrude and then change the translate local z axis minus 0.03 in this way at this stage let's show the wireframe on shaded leave the tool by choosing the pick tool so this is the time we need to bevel the hard edges of these three pieces again hide the lower two pieces of the object select them one by one go to the object selection mode from component selection mode by clicking this icon on status line then select a piece and shift select the other piece and go to the display and hide selection so how we'll bevel the hard edges this time we'll choose the select edge loop tool select edge loop tool from select menu double click the top edges row then double click the side edges row then the bottom then the other side and now include four edges of corners and go to extrude menu and bevel options click edit and reset the settings of bevel and put the value in width 0.2 you have beveled the corner edges the hard edges show hidden objects and repeat the same procedure with them. Let's go, let's go, let's go.